Erin McClure selects her golf ball, lines up her tee, and powers through her swing. Ball, tee, swing, same routine, day after day. My stroke average was better than it's ever been, and I'm, I'm lucky to be able to be on this team, and now I'm coming out in the spring ready to come in hot. Seton Hall has made a spring training tradition of traveling to one player's hometown, playing on local courses, and then taking in a tournament. There were no disagreements with leaving snowy South Orange, New Jersey, for sunshine in southern Arizona. Yeah, actually, there's about four or five inches, and before we came back, there was a blizzard, so... Being out here in 80 degrees, this is everything that we could have asked for. I was telling you earlier that last year our senior was from California, so we went there. You know, got to see her hometown, and it's it's fun to see where they came from. And this year, having Erin from Arizona to bring her down here and see her in her hometown, it's, it's nice because she's more comfortable. Um, and it's nice for the rest of the team that some of them have never been to Arizona. So I think three of the girls, this is their first time, and it's just showing them different cultures in different areas. I think it's a really good thing. Still, the question remains, how did a daughter of the desert emigrate to the east? We started the program the year before Erin got there, and I think a big thing of getting her up there was the, the playing time, a brand new program, being able to be you know, a pioneer, mm -hmm. which she has certainly done. Uh, and we have New York City, so that was, that's a big draw for a lot of players. Sarah Dole, she is awesome. When I was getting recruited by her, her and I got into a conversation for about two hours, and it was the best thing that probably ever happened to me. I met her. The team environment's just awesome. All of us enjoy each other's company, and we really push each other to do the best we can. She had a sister playing in the Big East at that time as well at Louisville, and, and that was part of the draw for her to the Big East. But um, one thing that you'll get to know about Erin, she's fearless. She can go anywhere and, and fit right in. And um, the girl from the Golden West going to the big city and, and making a name for herself there, it didn't surprise me. McClure, along with her pirate teammates, have wasted little time taking the Big East by storm. This is now going into our fifth year program, and last year was our fourth, and we won the Big East with our starting team. So that was great. And I actually came in second in the Big East individually. I am so proud and happy about that. And Aaron came in with two other players, uh, Mackenzie and Allie, her freshman year, and they were game changers, the three of them. We had a, a rough start, as you expect, with a first year program, but four years later to win, you know, obviously Aaron was a huge part of that. She was uh, always a very strong player, always a very competitive player. She was wild as a younger player. She's matured very nicely and, and plays a much more controlled type game now but she still hits the ball a long way. She hits the ball very high, tremendous speed and power, and a great athlete, like I said. Um, but now she's got the, the maturity and the mental game to match. This season, McClure wraps up her collegiate career and is ready to put winter behind and return to the sunshine. I'm actually coming back to Phoenix, Arizona. I'm going to be working. Um, I'm definitely going to be joining a country club up in Phoenix and be playing people for money now that I can. I think she'll do very well. She's been beating guys and girls for a long time. She's fierce while she's out there competing, but as soon as uh, the match is over, she seems to be friends with whoever she was playing with.